I'm uh, I'm Promota. I'm Gillian. Gillian. <laughs> <laughs> and um, our game is, um, you know, like how on the iPhone you have those games that's like Jetpack Joyride or something. It's like one of those games that has a player moving infinitely and you have to click to make a jump or go left or right. So it's kind of based off of that. That was kind of our inspiration, except it's in 3D. And um, well, I guess you should yeah, just we'll play it. Demo. Yeah, she'll just demo it. There's music. We don't know how loud it's going to be just from my computer, but... Hopefully it'll play. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the cube is moving infinitely in the plane, and um, you can collect coins, and that'll make your score grow up. Um, if you touch a cactus, those are like enemies that'll destroy your lives. You have you start off with five lives, right? Um, what she just picked up is a capsule. So you see the little bar at the bottom. That's like how much fuel you have, so that you can only fly, which is hitting space bar. Fly for okay, yeah. Um, yeah, you can also go underwater. So there's like coins under the water, and so you ha you like go under there, and you can collect secret coins. Um, and then you uh, you fly by pressing spacebar. But if you see the bar down there, if you run out of fuel, you can't press, you can't fly in the um, the field anymore. Um, and so you just keep going. I think we touched a few cactuses along the way. Uh, yeah, our lives are you lose a life by touching the enemies. Um, there's okay now you now she can fly um, okay so we have like three worlds so this is the desert world and then she's going into like the snow world um, which also has coins <laughs> yeah it's 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 pretty yeah and then um, obviously the coins spin around uh, this world isn't as tall as or long as the desert world you can see like the the forest world showing up already uh, there's also coins in the air, but you can only get them if you have fuel. <laughs> yeah. You have to be like, you have to know exactly where they are. Oh, there you go. I think our high score is 20, so yeah. if anyone can beat that. <laughs> um, and we have this thing at the top where you click it. And it needs the music. <laughs> uh, these are conifer trees. Yeah, so you can like run into them. them. Yeah. Um, um, the grass is actually um, <laughs> compiled. So you can, I'm oh, sorry. You can see how you're kind of submerged in the grass. So it's like going through a meadow. And it's funny because the grass is actually a bunch of little trees. You can't yeah. see it now, but if you like zoom in infinitely, you'll see like the tiny little trees swaying. It's really funny. <laughs> um, and yeah. And then, yeah, that, that is the end of the game. And then I think you will fall infinitely. Yeah, you will let it go. Yeah, you just fall infinitely into space. <laughs> so um, that's our game. So we can talk about like some challenges that we had. Um, so basically, we kind of split up the work into two um, separate groups. So. Um, so I mostly worked on building the world because I found like the terraforming tool of Unity like fascinating. I spent like hours doing that. It's so cool. Um, <laughs> So a lot of the more complicated things, like you can see the canyons and the cactus um, were, and the trees, were imported from Unity assets. Um, all of them were free, although there are some that are like up to like $40. Um, and so basically, the ground, the terrain, I like hand created, but um, the canyons and cacti were created and imported, but I did hand place all of them and I hand designed it. The river, oh, let's see if I can like, Zoom in. Um, the river was interesting to create because um, it's not that hard. Unity makes it relatively easy for you, but to get it to have like the apply the physics to the river properly is like kind of complicated. You can't really tell because of the way we have it, but there's actually water everywhere in this world, and if you dig deep enough, you will get a pool. So I can show you that. Um, it's like it's real life. <laughs> so let's see. Inspect. This is how you do the terrain here. Can you hold? It? You can actually do this, and then you can see like water coming up. <laughs> um, you can make it go up like that, but I don't want to make it ugly. <laughs> yeah. So I had a lot of fun doing that. Um, and then she worked on the coding parts as far as the game interaction. Yeah, I did mostly of uh, the code, and there's not really that many different codes. I don't know if you can, where are the um, scripts? Oh, right. So there's, there's really only a few 
simple codes over there but like so the coins they have their own little code so that they spin around that's which yeah that's that's the code for the player right yeah. and so um the, just the player. So like the the weirdest part was to get the cube to always move infinitely. So like you know originally you could move it forward and backwards, but um, we just had to figure out how to like make it so it never moves backwards. Like that's not an option. And so that was that was just something different that uh, I had to figure out how to do. And then this is just like a bunch of different codes. Actually, the hardest part I think was doing the health bar to make it go down. So I mean obviously you can like make integers go down but like to sh make that visually happen was really weird but that you just have to like use a local scale or something like that and so that was um, that was pretty s simple after I figured it out I guess but in the process it was hard and um, yeah. overall the game was really fun to make yeah we actually like worked on it a lot and like on our own time after class she was here till like <laughs> 11 last night at my dorm room because we, <laughs> yeah, we were just so like the game <laughs> Yeah, it was like maybe like 30% done until last night. <laughs> and it really came together last night. And then we were like, what could we add more? I think we just kept on going in. And at some point in time, we were like, we should stop now. <laughs> like, this is enough. So, yeah, yeah that's about what it. What were the controls? Um, yeah. Just arrows, the left arrow and right arrow, and then the space bar. Yeah, that's all you have. So, space, space bar to fly. jump, but un until you run out of fuel, at which point it like locks the space bar, so you can't. You can't go up that anymore. Yeah. Until you get a feed in space bar to make you go higher. Yeah, yeah you like it's continue like the force to force every time you hit the space bar so you can go pretty high. So you like continue to fly. Cool. Yep. That Any other it. questions? <laughs> 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 <laughs>